Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what's on my Apple Watch Series 6. I'll be showing you guys all my favorite apps, customization tips, and my favorite accessories including lots of really cute watch bands. But before we jump into it, I do want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I have talked to you guys about Squarespace a few times, but if you don't already know, they're an all-in-one platform where you can build a website. So if you're trying to start a blog, start a business, a portfolio, maybe you want to create a website for a photography business, Squarespace is the perfect place to do it. They have really great tools making it super easy to build a website. You do not have to know what you're doing. It is very user friendly. They have easy appointment scheduling so your clients can see your availability right on your website and schedule appointments with you. They also have amazing SEO tools so you never have to worry about your website getting seen by the internet. I feel like that's one of the hardest parts when you're just starting out and their SEO tools make it really easy. And of course their site management was built for today's day and age so you can take it with you on the go and pretty much access everything from your phone on the go on the Squarespace app. So if you guys want to check out Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash Melissa Lucy or enter Melissa Lucy at checkout to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so let's just start out with the specs of my Apple Watch. I have had an Apple Watch for a few years now, but I actually just recently upgraded to the Apple Watch Series 6. I have the rose gold Apple Watch Series 6 with cellular. I've had two other Apple Watches before this one, and both of those were just GPS, and it worked perfectly for me. The only reason that I wanted one with cellular is because I do like to take runs in the morning, and it is so inconvenient carrying my phone with me, so I really just wanted to be able to have access to my music, track my run, and be able to answer the phone or text message if there was an emergency, and not have to have my phone at my side. It also makes it really convenient when you are out and about and you might not want to bring your phone But let's be honest today's day and age most of us are bringing your phones with them anyway So it's not a big deal if you don't have cellular So I want to start out with why I love my Apple watch and what I primarily use it for I absolutely love the fitness capabilities of the Apple watch the fitness app makes it super easy to track all of your workouts They also give you friendly reminders throughout the day to help keep you on track and they also give you little rewards So if you complete a certain amount of workouts per month, you'll get a little medal and you can also do competitions with friends and I just feel like it really helps keep me on track and motivates me to work out more and having the ability to track how many calories you're burning and what your heart rate is at gives you a really good idea of how far you've come if you use the app for a while to track your workouts. I also love having the ability to monitor my heart rate not just for when I'm working out but if I feel funny and I just want to check my heart rate I can do it right on my Apple watch. You guys know that I have a heart condition so it does give me a little peace of mind knowing that this can track irregular heart rates so it can send me a notification if for some reason something did go wrong with my heart. It also now has this really cool feature of telling your blood oxygen levels which is super cool because I love everything that this can do. It can give you an EKG and tell you if you're in a normal sinus rhythm and when you're super out of breath or you're complaining about wearing a face mask you can literally check your blood oxygen levels and you'll see that you're perfectly fine. The next thing that I use all the time is my calendars and reminders. So basically this sets up with the Apple calendar which I don't love using but you can actually link it to Google Calendar so that all of the events that show up in your Google Calendar also show up in your iPhone calendar, meaning that when you have the calendar on your Apple screen, it does show you what events you have going on that day. So you can just look at your Apple Watch and see maybe you have a dentist appointment at 3.30 or you have a yoga class at 5 and it kind of helps you structure your day and keeps you on track. As for reminders, I am constantly using the reminders feature even for things that I have going on that day. I will literally tell Siri to remind me in 30 minutes to switch the laundry because I get distracted and I will literally forget. I also like to tell her to remind me when there's birthdays or to make a phone call or that I need to pay a bill on Friday. And it's just so convenient because it just pops up on your watch. So you know you're not gonna miss a notification. It's like having a little personal assistant to keep your life together right on your wrist. Another thing that people who don't have an Apple Watch probably don't realize is that you can quickly send messages and answer phone calls right from your Apple Watch, which probably seems like, well, why would I do that? I could just use my phone. But I swear to you, when you're in the grocery store and your phone is not accessible, maybe it's in your bag and you don't really want to dig it out but someone's calling you or you need to send a quick text to say like hey I just made it to the nail salon so that Chad doesn't freak out and think you got in a car accident you just tell Siri to let him know that you made it and you're good <laughs> it's actually so useful though I answer the phone all the time so that way I can continue to do things a lot of times my sister will call me when I'm in the middle of packaging orders I answer on my Apple watch and I talk to her while I'm doing things and I don't have to worry about putting my phone on speaker and sitting it down next to me and then walking out of the room and she's not gonna be able to hear me because 
she's literally attached to my wrist and it's amazing the other thing that I just recently started using once I upgraded to the Apple Watch Series 6 is the sleep slash bedtime feature that comes with Apple Watch now there's a lot of sleep tracking apps that are very cool that I've used in the past but I just recently started taking advantage of the one that Apple has because it does connect to the health app and it also correlates with your phone directly so it reminds you when it's time for bed and it basically puts your phone in like sleep time mode so it reminds you 30 minutes before your set bedtime that bedtime is soon and it puts it in like this night mode so that you're reminded to limit your screen time and I love that because I've been trying to read every single night before I go to bed to reduce the amount of time that I'm in front of a screen right before I go to sleep and I swear I sleep better now because of it the Apple watch charges super fast so if you just plug it in maybe 20 or 30 minutes you can put it right back on before you go to sleep and that way it can track your sleep and you can get some really good analytics about how well you slept that night what your heart rate was blood oxygen levels the whole thing and it is kind of interesting to see like how you're sleeping and the last thing that you might not know is that you can actually use your Apple watch as a viewfinder on your camera so if you're setting up your camera far away maybe you want to take a group photo or you're taking photos of yourself on a little tripod you can pull up a viewfinder right on your Apple watch and take photos with a self timer or in real time right from your watch and I think that is so cool so you don't actually have to get like a little clicker like a lot of people do if you have an Apple watch you can do it right from that so those are kind of the things that I use my Apple watch primarily for I told you guys about the activity app reminders and calendar those are all the ones that are from Apple that come with the watch that are absolutely amazing and I use them every day but there are a few Apple watch apps that you definitely have to get if you have an Apple watch that are not created by Apple the first one is any list this app will literally change your life it is a shared list app so basically if you have several people in your household whether you live with roommates maybe it's your boyfriend or even your parents you guys can all download this app and collectively create lists together whether it's for the grocery store Christmas lists gift ideas, whatever it might be, you can do it all on any list. And you can also access any list from both your phone, your Apple watch and your freaking computer. So you can edit everything on there and it gets like super in detail. So you can create categories. So Chad and I created like a Christmas list category and we basically have each category is the person's name. And then under that, all of the gifts and you can just check it off right as you get the gifts for them and both of us can edit and add to that so if he's out with his mom and i'm out with my sister and she gives me some kind of an idea i can add to it and both of us will be able to see it same thing goes for grocery lists which i find extremely helpful for and you can also tell siri to add things to that list or alexa because we have an alexa out there and say i just ran out of half and half which actually did happen this morning i can say hey alexa add half and half to the grocery list and she will literally add it into it and it will automatically update on our phones and our watches. And the benefit of having it on your Apple Watch is you can literally pull up the list right from your watch and tap to cross out different items. So that way as you're shopping, it makes it super easy. You don't have to carry around a pen and paper. Or if you're like me, I would always use the notes app in my phone and I would have dozens and dozens and dozens of notes and I would always forget to delete them, like all of these random lists. And I probably still have stuff in there from like 2014, not even kidding. So this kind of helps make it easy. This next app is called Lens and it's basically Instagram for your Apple Watch. Now I know you're probably thinking, why would I need to access Instagram on my Apple Watch? But you would be surprised by the amount of times that you're just sitting there maybe in a waiting room when you get your nails done or you're in the line at the grocery store and you just want to like scroll through your feed while you're waiting but you don't want to have your whole big phone out because that's kind of distracting. So you just pull it up on your Apple Watch. It's really cool so you can view your home, stories, activity, the explore page, messages, profile, you can even search. Now I will warn you that all of these options are not free, but if you're really gonna go into detail, watch stories, reply to comments, read messages, you're most likely gonna do it from your phone. So I've not purchased the full app. I just like to view my feed sometimes and you can also like right from the app. And I just think that's so cool because Instagram doesn't actually have an Apple Watch app. So this is kind of a way around that. The last app that I actually just started using last week is called My Water and Drink Reminder app. So you can probably figure out what this is for. It does remind you to drink water. It will send you notifications on both your watch and your phone you can also track your water intake the cool thing about this is it also tracks your water intake for other beverages you guys know I drink a lot of coffee there is water in coffee so when you track your coffee it actually incorporates that into how much you've drank that day and it will help you stay on track it also gives you really great metrics and analytics so you can see okay did I drink all of the water
water I should have over the span of a week. What days, you know, did I not? You can kind of see how you were feeling that day and just keep track of everything. Um, but I really just like the little frequent reminders because I will literally go all day without drinking water and not even realize it. When I'm super busy, I just don't think about it. So it's kind of nice to get those little reminders. So I want to show you guys how I have my watch customized. By now you probably know there's tons of watch faces you can choose from and there's so many different ways to customize them. You can also go on Pinterest or Etsy and find different watch faces that you can purchase or download and get those on there. But I actually really like the modular Apple watch. This is a face that it just comes with and it's super customizable and it just makes it really easy for me to quickly access everything I need. So I very rarely have to go and view all of the apps on the Apple watch. So in the top left, I just have the date. It's very handy being able to look at your wrist for the date when you need to sign something or write something down. You're just curious what day of the week it is. Let's be honest, we all forget sometimes. So I really like having that feature. Of course, I have the time displayed and then I have my calendar. I told you guys, I absolutely love having my calendar and basically having the events. It's very helpful to plan out your day the night before and then just be able to see exactly what you have coming up that day. In the bottom left, I have workouts so I can tap that and start a workout at any moment. Most of the time I use cross training or hit training for when I'm at the gym and outdoor run is automatically saved at a mile and a half because that's what I typically run. Next to that, I have the activity app where it shows me my rings for the day. Helps keep me on track with my move, exercise, and stand goals, which as you can see, I am very much slacking today. I did not work out yet this morning, but I'm planning on working out this evening. And then to the right, I have any list and I can check off my groceries as I go shopping or to-do lists if I had certain things that I needed to do. So now I wanna show you guys my favorite accessories for the Apple Watch, including my favorite bands and a really cool holder that you can use for your charger. So this Apple Watch band is the one that is my newest and I get the most questions about. It's this really cute clear Apple Watch band with rose gold hardware. It's super protective and it makes my Apple Watch look like a G-Shock. I love the way it looks with the pink modular face and I'll be sure to link all the accessories that I'm talking about in the description. Also, don't mind the red on my arm. I know I'm probably gonna get asked about it. It is a birthmark. Next up, I just have the pink sand slash rose gold original Apple Watch band that came with it. I originally wanted to get the solo loop, but I didn't wanna wait for it to come in. They're all on back order, so I just went with this one so that I could upgrade right away. I do like this Apple Watch band. I feel like it's pretty standard, but. I do like to switch it up sometimes. Next up is my Velcro sports band. This is from Amazon and this is another one that I really like. It is a little bit dirty, probably from self tanner as you can see, but I really like how easy this one is to adjust. It has little Velcro straps and it just makes it super easy to get the perfect fit. I also have the same one in black and I really like this one because it has little speckles of pink as you can see and the same little Velcro strap, which is so nice to adjust. This one is the freaking cutest. It is from Sun Bunny. If you want to dress your Apple Watch up a little bit and make it look like jewelry, it's super fun to switch it up sometimes, and I absolutely love this glass beaded one. It's got so many different pretty colors, and it really complements the rose gold. And then last is this cheetah watch band, which is also from Sun Bunny. I've worn this a few times this past weekend, and I got so many questions about where it was from. I also changed it to this green face because I think it looks really cute with the animal print. So here's a little overview of all of my watch bands. As you can see, it's a growing little collection. I love changing these out. Probably one of my favorite parts about having an Apple Watch band is being able to customize it with the accessories. And the last accessory I want to show you guys that you absolutely need if you have an Apple Watch is this really cool charger holder. It makes it super easy to charge your Apple Watch. And if you're like me, you keep your charger on your night table. And this is just a little silicone holder that you insert the charger into and it just kind of holds it in place so that you can attach your Apple Watch to it. It makes it really easy to charge your Apple Watch every night without having to hassle to find the charger. And then flipping it both ways to figure out which side magnetizes to the back of the Apple Watch, you always get it right with this. And it's also a really cute little accessory for your night table. So that is everything that's on my Apple Watch. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna check them out, go to the link in the description and use the code Melissa Lucy for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video video.